Hi, I'm Mohan. Uh, in this video, I'm going to explain the underdeveloped limit of uh, lateral surface of solids problem. Uh, this problem is choose from uh, VTU model question paper. Uh, the question is uh, a square pyramid base 40 mm side and axis 65 mm long has its base on HP and all the edges of the base are equally inclined to VP. It is cut to with an inclined section plane so as a truncated surface at 45 degree to its axis bisecting it draw the development of a truncated pyramid uh, the data required to solve the problem or uh, the type of solid on uh, the type of solid is a square pyramid remember for all the pyramid uh, if we cut and when we unfold it we're going to see the triangular faces and in order to draw the top view, we need the resting condition. Uh, in this problem, the resting condition is uh, all bases, all base edges equally inclined to VP. Uh, now let us uh, draw the solution in solid edge. Okay, first we have to do the sheet setup. Okay, always choose uh, sheet size as A4. Okay, I'll go to line command. Okay, choose thickness as 0 0.13 mm. First, I'm going to do the solution by taking thickness as 0 0.13 mm only. Later, I'm going to highlight for uh, cut section uh, portion. Okay, first draw one line, X, Y line. Okay, go to text option. Okay, I'm going to name this as X and uh, this as uh, Y. Okay, above the X, Y line will be having a VP. Okay, below the X, Y line will be having a HP. Okay, this is square pyramid problem. The top view looks like a square. First, I'm going to construct the square. Uh, go to macros option or you can construct the square by using rectangle option. Uh, the dimension is 14 to 40. Okay, go to rectangle. Okay, the width is 40 mm and height is 40 mm. Okay, now we have to see the resting condition. Uh, here all base edges are equally inclined to VP. Therefore, we have to rotate this diagram. Go to select option, select entire square. Uh, go to rotate option, select one corner and select the opposite corner. We have to rotate, switch off the copy command. Now go to move option, select that uh, square and place uh, below the XY line. Okay, since this is a pyramid, uh, when we see the pyramid from the top side, we are going to see the triangular faces. Therefore, draw the diagonal lines also. Okay, uh, now I'm using thickness as 0 0.13 mm only. Let it be 0 0.13 mm. Later, we are going to highlight. Okay, now name this uh, square. I'm going to name this as uh, A. Okay, increase the thickness to 3 mm. Okay, I'm going to name this as A. Okay, this as uh, B, this corner as C, okay, this corner as D, okay, this is uh, O in bracket O1. Uh, if you want, you can show the dimension, that is 40 mm. Now we have to draw the front view. Uh, the front view looks like a triangle. Uh, in order to construct the triangle, first we have to draw the axis line. Okay, the height is uh, 65 mm. Okay, first draw the projection line from each corner. Okay, the axis line height is 65 mm. Okay, from this apex point, draw a line to the end point of uh, each projection line. Okay, the front view looks like a triangle. Okay, now I'm going to name this. Okay, this is uh, O dash. Okay, this is A dash. This is uh, B dash in bracket D dash. Okay, this is C dash. See, the axis length is uh, 65 mm. Okay, now this is a uh, square pyramid uh, without considering the cut section. Okay, we're going to consider the cut section later. Okay, now when we cut this uh, pyramid and uh, when we unfold it, we're going to see the triangular faces. Uh, square has four sides, therefore I have to construct uh, four triangular faces. First, let us construct the triangular faces. Then we'll see the cut section portion. 
Okay, in order to construct the triangular faces, we need uh, the slant height length. Okay, the slant height is around uh, 70.89. Go to arc by center point method, uh, choose one reference point. Now draw an arc of 70.89 radius. Okay, now construct one uh, a triangular face first. Okay, now the side of the square is 40 mm. Okay, by taking this end as the center point, draw one more arc of 40 mm length in order to construct one triangle. Now construct the triangle from this end point to end point of this arc to O. Okay, this is O of X point. Okay, now go to trim option. Okay, trim these uh, unwanted lines. Now one triangular face is constructed. Go to select option. Uh, select entire uh, triangular face. Go to mirror option. Okay, second triangular face, third, and this is fourth. Okay, now I'm going to name this uh, development. Okay, I'm going to name this as uh, corner A. This is corner B. Okay, this is corner C. This is corner D. This is corner A again. You can see this radius is the same as the slant height. That is 70.89. Okay, this, uh, this is uh, the solution for a square pyramid without considering the cut section. But in this problem, they have given uh, the cut section condition. Okay, you can see the second line. It is cut with an inclined section plane so as the truncated surface at 45 degree to its axis bisecting it from the midpoint we have to draw a line which makes an angle of 45 degree to its axis okay go to that solution okay i'm going to zoom this uh, area okay first i'm going to draw a line or uh, I can choose a midpoint in this axis line Okay, from the midpoint, we have to draw a line which makes an angle of 45 degree. Okay, first draw one line from the midpoint. Okay, go to angle between option. Okay, angle between this line and this line should be 45. Okay, now I'm going to extend this 45 degree line towards downwards also. Go to extend to next option. Okay, extend this line. Okay, now this is the cut section. Now I'm going to highlight this section by using thick line. Go to line command. Now choose thickness as uh, 0 0.50 mm. Okay, now from uh, A dash to this intersection point. Next till here. Then here. Then to C dash. Then to P dash. Then B dash to A dash again from B dash to this cut section part. Now I'm going to name these uh, points. Okay, see between O dash and A dash, we have point one. Okay, between O dash and B dash, we have point two. Uh, between O dash and C dash, we have point three. Between O dash and D dash, we have point four. Okay, now we have to indicate these points in development also here okay in order to indicate we need uh, dimensions okay first measure the dimension go to smart dimension you can see a dash to one is uh, 8.14 okay b dash to two and uh, d dash to two is 32.34 c dash to three is around 46.19 Okay, now I'll go to arc by center point method. Okay, we have uh, point one between O dash and A. Okay, the distance is 8.14. Okay, by taking A as a center point, cut one arc of radius 8.14, enter. Okay, I'm going to name that point as one. Okay, next point two. Point two is between O dash and B dash. The distance is 32.34. By taking B as a reference point, 32.34 enter, draw an arc. Okay, I'm going to name that point as 2. 
next next we have uh, point 3 uh, between o dash and c dash uh, the distance is 46.19 okay by taking c as a reference point the distance is 46.19 into cut one arc okay i'm going to name that point as uh, 3 We'll do it again that point by taking c as a center point okay the distance is 46.19 enter cut one arc that point is point three next uh, we have point four the distance is again 32.34 between o and d 32.34 enter okay i'm going to name that point as Four. Again, we have point one between O and A that is eight point one four. Eight point one four enter. Okay, I'm going to name that point as one again. Okay, now I'm going to join these points. I'm going to zoom this area. Okay, go to line command. Now choose thickness as zero point five zero mm. I'll start from A. A two one one two 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 three three two four four two one one two A A two T D two C C two B B two one can now again B two two C two three D two four Okay, now I'm going to trim that arc. Okay, now this is the development of a truncated uh, square pyramid. Thank you.